as well. That's why a lot of the the pros now are like not afraid to, but kind of like worried to speak out on like a lot of the issues, you know, with the controversy with a lot of the Connor stuff because. Mm. Also, it's part of Ireland, but they're kind of like, should I fucking speak on this? I don't want to get shit on. Po- like you know, but they know, of, but, but they, they know, know the crack. But they, like, but, but they know, but the problem is they don't. They're scared of the backlash. But yeah. they know, and that's what Connor loves. Connor loves having that kind of power over people. You know, he loves having that kind of power where they have to fear even even putting out the truth. Well, if we're gonna talk on the actual Connor subject, I like I have a ton of views on it. You know, like good and bad, to be honest with you. You know, and as I say, like. Just through coming up on the Irish scene, like when I was younger, like and seeing seeing a lot of the fights, like you know, at the end of the day, like he's st- he's an Irish sports icon, and that has to be respected. He's iconic in a lot of ways, promotional wise. He put us on the fucking map, mm-hmm. you know. But he's not bigger than the sport. Let's right. all remember that. Well, like, well, that's I feel like that's the problem with him is he feels like he is, you know. Yeah, he's not putting out. He's well, not. Look, he's not bringing out the names of, of the Irish fighters before him that, that yeah. paid their dues that paved the way that, yeah. put, that put the that paved the road you know there's, exactly. there's somebody has to pave that road for you to be on that road you know yeah, well, and you I know, feel he, like that has he, to be respected he did a lot of the paving though as well you have to like you know even being a cage warriors double 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 weight champion like mm-hmm. and, and you know also like but you gotta look at it as like the reason a lot of people get into the sport like I got into the sport because I can't shamrock do you know what I mean like yeah. Mm-hmm. Fucking absolute legend, Hall of Famer, like <sighs> Shamrock was the man, yeah, like he was. <laughs> inspiration to the sport, like, and um, you know, obviously to look at it as he's not big in the sport, but yes, the people that come before him, like you know, you're so right, like you got the Norman Parks of the world that don't mm-hmm. don't even get their like don't even get their dues, like like mm-hmm. he's fighting for KSW now and ACB, like fought in the SCs, like won tough in Australia. Mm-hmm. Like normal mm-hmm. parks, twenty six and five. Mm-hmm. He has more fights than Connor. Like yeah. he's from nobody don't nobody, Bush Mills. nobody gives him any love. It's fucking. It's crazy. Like Norman Park came up. Like I remember. Like he he was a big inspiration to me when I was younger. But we watching him fight. Like like he he fought Joe Duffy. <laughs> like who beat Connor? Like he fought a lot of these guys. Like and obviously Norman. Did he be, did he beat Joe Duffy? Uh, no, I think no. I think Joe beat him. <laughs> so I Joe think. beat him and Connor. Yeah. Wow. He has victories. Joe, Joe Duffy. And Joe's obviously it? Irish as well. He's from Donegal, yeah. yeah. Joe's, a, Joe's a really good lad. Um, he's a and he kind of also goes below the radar as well. That's what yeah, I mean. oh yeah. He strains with Farah Sahabi and Tristar. He's a humble fucker. Like, Joe, Joe Duffy's great. But um, as I say, you know, there's no hate, like, just throwing out hate at Connor. Like, nobody's throwing hate out at Connor. Like, but when you look at the actual, on paper, like, some of the like the best pros like another good friend of mine Merv Mulholland mm-hmm. who was in Cage Warriors who never got his look in he lives in Dubai now and mm-hmm. runs his own MMA gym and Merv like like there's pictures of cards before then where Merv was headlining the bill and Connor was on the undercard yeah yeah like you know Merv, Merv right? Mulholland was at welterweight he was you know in top five in Ireland mm-hmm. You know, at one stage. Um, but yeah, like there's, there's tons of M- Irish MMA facts, you know, and some of the guys came before Connor, like as well. Like, um, you're talking like, like the guys from EFR, like in some of the gyms in Belfast, like, you know, some of the guys that were in the UFC even before him. Obviously, Norman was there before him. And then you had, um, you know, some of the guys from back in UFC 93. Um, well, his best friend Tom Egan was there, you know, that was a long time ago too. But there's even guys that were even before him, mm-hmm. you know, and the Irish MMA contingent contingents been around a while, and Connor took it to another level, definitely, fucking mm-hmm. put us on the map, facts, you know. But what went on with obviously yourself and whatever, um, people that know the real story, like me, it was uncalled for. Like a lot of the, a lot of it, I see it as a fucking load of shit, like, and it's an embarrassment to us as Irish people. What was done to you? Well, that's the way I see it. Well, the thing about it is, I don't. It wasn't to the it, boxing the only, community also at large well, who are Irish well, and follow you yeah also. but you know they put the Irish boxers in a bit of a tough predicament because you know obviously they're, they're, Irish, on the they're, fence. they're Irish so you know they don't want to look like they're betraying the flag but at the same time they don't want to betray their sport you know and uh, this guy's not putting out the whole video so it's like who to believe we, we want to just get an answer and we know I feel like some people just don't even want to take sides I feel like some people just want to see the video and just get the get the real get the real story out there and I think yeah. the more he waits on putting it out there I think the more it looks like he's, he's the one that was lying obviously but 
Yeah. Well, the country needs to know the truth. Never mind <laughs> fucking the, all that shit. The country, yeah. all the the Irish boxing community really needs to know the truth. Here's the problem, though, Adam. He put out this crazy story about how I couldn't walk out of the gym even, how about how I was falling over myself. You know, besides the crazy lies that even the Evan <laughs> highlights show, you know, like he put out such a bad story that now, even if the sparring would be remotely competitive, it's already looking horrible for him. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then you have to keep in mind that I'm at 20%. Even that, that I just got off an airplane. You know, yeah, like, well, you're like fucking. All, you're you're fat. All of a sudden, like you just came off the couch, and, and that's what I'm saying. And then you're fat as fuck. exactly. And then <laughs> like, that's pretty real. And and, 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 then, and then you see the if you see the spar knowing all that about me, yeah. and then you see the, how bad he looks in it. That's gonna just make him look horrible, especially well, no, after the thing he said. Nobody's seen you know? the full spar, obviously. Well, that's from the what, thing. You're the only one that knows. Well, that's the thing, and that's why he's gonna keep hiding it. He, I don't. The sparring's never gonna come out. He's gonna keep hiding it because it, it, he can only look bad after everything he said and after everything he did. You know, he can only look bad if he shows that sparring comes out. You know, so I mean, for me, he didn't really do anything because I'm not. I'm not one of these guys that's a gung ho about my image. Like you know, maybe in my twenties, oh, I wanted a, my image to be some something of, yeah. of of a different manner. I don't care what other people think about me. You know what I'm saying? So like, you're not crying every um, night. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like you know, it's like I'm not. You know, like nobody, nobody. <laughs> this cunt's great. Yeah. Oh, that's my best friend Peter, man. Come on. <laughs> well, and so, like, so I mean, so I don't. You know, it's like. For me, I was legitimately poor one time. You know, what I mean? legitimately, yeah. why I came to the U.S. on and we were on food stamps. You know, like legitimately, like my mother was by herself, didn't speak English, and had two kids that didn't speak English. Well, your and, parents were born in Europe. Right? Yeah, my parents were born in Italy. Yes, you know, so so like you know, I legitimately know what what it's like to have to come up through hard times. You know, I'm so. Just the fact that, okay, I don't have to have made a $100 million. I can pay my right. bills and I can live very comfortably. You know what I mean? I have nice jewelry. I have nice cars. I have some nice houses. You know, like, I'm, I'm fine. You know, like, I'm, 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 so, I'm so thankful for everything I've been able to have. Sure, I would have loved to accomplish more. Sure, I would have, you know, loved to have even had an even better career. But my career was good enough to give me some really nice things in my life, you know? So yeah, you're I'm, lucky. Like. I'm, I'm you're lucky. lucky. Yeah, I'm, boxing, I'm lucky. You have been fucked. Yeah, I'm lucky because I know what it's like to be on that side. Yeah. And I understand. Without, without sports, and I, I understand. Fucked. Yeah, and Same I understand thing. the struggle. Now, you're telling me, you know, I'm hearing things like, this guy was never really poor. And that kind of makes sense because I started noticing it in camp. I started noticing it in camp. The way he was treating people, I said, there's no way this guy was ever at the bottom. Because somebody was at the bottom. This well, is no yeah. way they talk down we'll to people like this. Well, take no a way beating. They treat like, I've seen Paddy Gallagher in the gym. And even take a beating. Yes. Even take a beating. Yes. Fuck beat yes. Out of him. yes. Like, yes. And James we've getting beat been, up by a Russian number we've all, one. We've all been there. And just sitting there and we've going through it. We've all been there. But here's the thing. We, we, we've all been there at different points in our careers. But here's the thing. That's a big part of it, yes. The fact that he's not willing to take a beating, okay? Because when you come from the bottom, a beating is nothing. A beating is nothing. Think about Boxing's it. Boxing's also been, different, too. But it, it, it's different it's because you, it's different because you can't put somebody in the garden and relax. You can't mm. put somebody in the garden and rest. You're getting you have, fucking hit you gotta keep constantly. Hit, you gotta keep hit getting hit, and if you clinch and try to waste time, it gets broken up right away after a second, and you gotta keep back to punching. Yeah. You have no rest. You know, you can't put somebody in the garden and try to rest. So, you know, it's gotta show a lot of character. Now, yeah, you bring up that point. If somebody's been really at the bottom and poor, an ass whoop is not the worst thing in the world. But I was more so looking yeah, at it. it yeah. I was uh, I was more so looking at it the way he talks to people, the way he treats people. And I was looking at it in camp the way uh, he had the, the other sparring partners treated. And I was like, you know, this guy. I mean, for <laughs> me, for me, I can pick up and leave anytime I want to. I got money, yeah. you know. But I said these a lot of these people need him, you know. Well, like, you experienced aside, it first time. Aside from so. I fly from Artem and Jerry, who are like his it's official ball lickers. Like Artem licks Let's the right one, real, and, and Jerry licks the left one. They get if treated want, good, but if but you the want other talk guys, about but the other guys really didn't get treated the way they should have. And like I said, it makes sense now. Okay, right. It makes sense now. This guy was never, this whole food stamp, this whole bullshit he shows in this documentary about how he came from the bottom. Come on, bro. Listen, everybody who makes it like that deserves credit. Even Connor, okay? He, he, he decided to put a goal on his back and he, and he went for it. And God bless, he made it. But do not pretend you are somebody you are not. That is the biggest con artist. That's why it's the biggest con artist shit. And well, that's why it makes <laughs> sense. That's why it makes sense to me that he would bullshit about the whole sparring and the training camp and whatnot. Because it goes along the lines of who he is as a character. It's 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 a pattern. It's a character pattern that he has. He's a bullshit artist. You know, like granted, again, you can't take away from the hard work that he's done. You can't take away from the hard work that he has got him here. You know, something yeah, got definitely. him here, right? Something got him here. But the character traits <laughs> they don't they're not surprising once you see that he was a bullshit artist in camp, and the way he's talking down to people below him, and all of a sudden I realized, like, 
all right, this guy's number one, he's a bullish artist, so now I gotta look at his whole story. Number two, the way he's treating people that are way beneath him is way too much, he's way too aloof for, to have been with somebody who's been at the bottom. So now he's the way he's treating these people, so now this, his lies might go into the fact that of his backstory. His lies definitely go into, into his backstory. And, I don't know, you probably know better than me, man. All right, well, the, well, the way I see a lot of stuff, like, like um, his father has a plumbing company? Oh, yeah, Tony, 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 like, obviously his father, his father's a great guy, you know, mm -hmm. like, I, personally, I don't know him. There, there, there's a Twitter, and I don't know that it's the, really the father who has the Twitter, um, he puts father on there, and, and it talks like, it's, it's trolled me several times, you know, oh, right? but, I, but I won't, I won't acknowledge it, because I don't know if it's really Connor's father, if I start getting into a, into a, an argument with that guy, I don't know if that's Connor's father or not, you know what I mean? Well, if the internet's a funny place.